Chris Hayes on MSNBC spoke to Thomas Frank, who's the author of one of my favorite books of all time, What's the Matter with Kansas? And they're going to lay out what I call the spectrum problem of American politics. There's a prescription in the book that basically talks about recapturing a kind of progressive populism, that, that when Kansas was a, was a bastion of populism, it was a kind of progressive populism. And that's what you kind of recommend in the book. But then there's another tactic that I think we're seeing in certain places, which is essentially standing up for moderation, right? Standing up for prudence and yeah. hoping to fight a, to kind of wage politics as a kind of like, oh, well, let's get back to the center. And you're seeing, camp no, really, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very I, different I, I, than I, what I'm you sorry, were I recommending. I shouldn't laugh. Yeah, I, know, I, shouldn't, I, I shouldn't laugh, but uh, because it's, it, the people who say that are very well-intentioned. <laughs> you can't have a center if you don't have a left, Mr. Hayes. You know, it's just like, it's almost simple. It's like geometry almost. Right, so the point being that you cannot, you cannot, I mean, what, what, if I'm... The you, you can't be balancing both right. sides if you don't have two sides, you know? If all the fire and the energy are concentrated on the right and there is no comparable movement on the left, you know? So he's talking about something that uh, we've spoken about on the show before. Bill Maher has spoken about it. The Young Turks have spoken about it. I think every progressive media outlet has brought it up in one way or another. And uh, it's actually a really interesting thing that's been exhaustively discussed in political science papers as well. And I think the technical term for it is the Overton window. Okay, and what that means is you have a system, usually a media system, that sets up the parameters of a debate where there's a, a right-wing fringe and there's a left-wing fringe. And the idea is, as long as you're within the fringe that they, the fringes that they laid out for you, as long as you fall somewhere on the spectrum that they laid out for you, well, then we can hear your opinion and you can be taken seriously and we'll discuss you or have conversations with you or whatever the case is, right? But the problem, as Thomas Frank is laying out and as all the progressive outlets have uh, discussed, is that the Overton window in the U.S., or the spectrum of debate in the U.S. has been pushed so far to the right that there is no mainstream acceptable voice that's actually a left-wing voice. You know, so the right the right wing fringe of course is defined by there's a few different stripes of it but you could say it's like Rick Santorum of uber religious theocratic you know Pat Robertson esque John Hagee esque they're taken seriously unfortunately but they're taken seriously in the discussion they shouldn't be but they are and then you also have you know um the more businessy slash corrupty wing uh, that is out there on the right. I don't know who you would use to define that. Probably like John Boehner, Mitch McConnell. They pretend to care about the social, religious stuff, but they really don't. They're just total sellouts to Wall Street. Those kinds of people are also on that right-wing fringe. But what's defined as the left-wing fringe in the media is President Obama. And President Obama is by no means on the left-wing fringe. He's not even on the left wing. I always say he's center-right at best. Okay, I mean, look at him, continuing, uh, wanting to continue the war in Iraq, uh, actually continuing the war in Afghanistan, continuing American imperialism, uh, making permanent about 95% of the Bush tax cuts. I mean, we can go on and on. How many, what is it, 13 or 18 small business tax cuts he did uh, during his first term? I mean, the list goes on and on of the different things that, uh, considering cutting Social Security and Medicaid and Medicare, that's a guy's at least a center-right winger, you know, probably further to the right than that. But if you define him as the left-wing fringe, then that means nothing to the left of Obama can ever be taken seriously. Which means, you know, we're out of the picture, all new media is out of the picture, they mock places like the Huffington Post, and they say, oh, they, they don't count, they're Looney Tunes, don't pay any mind to them. But the reality is, and this is what Thomas Frank was getting at, is that, but wait, 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 wait. What the media is defining as the left-wing fringe is not actually the left-wing fringe. What the establishment and the politicians are defining as the left-wing fringe is not the left-wing fringe. In fact, that would be, if we're looking at a, a microcosm of the U.S., the, the American people are way to the left of President Obama. 
So the American people would be outside of the spectrum of debate, outside of the Overton window, believing in things that the media won't take seriously and the politicians won't take seriously. Like, for example, 80% wanting the minimum wage raised. That hasn't been done. 91% uh, wanting a universal background check for gun purchases. That hasn't been done. 90% uh, wanting money out of politics. That, of course, hasn't been done. Uh, a majority wanting single-payer health care. That hasn't been done. A majority wanting uh, immigration reform passed. That hasn't been done. 60% uh, wanting uh, to raise the tax on the uh, raise taxes on the rich if they make $250,000 or above. That hasn't been done. I mean, the list goes on and on of areas where the American people are like, whoa, 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 whoa hello? We're the real moderates, and guess what? Moderate is kind of left. You know, if you actually go by what the majority of people want, according to the polls, on the different issues, the moderate position is the left-wing position. But they're so far to the right in, in with the establishment and with the media and with the politicians that they don't pay any mind to us whatsoever. And what they didn't bring up, which is the reason why that's the case, though, is corruption. That's the problem. See, they might not know it. They might just think it was a naturally, or who knows, maybe they do know it. Chris Hayes is a smart guy, and Thomas Frank's a smart guy. But there's a reason why the spectrum has shifted so far to the right. And it's because of the corrupt, corrupting influence of money in politics. And the fact that all the politicians are bought by Wall Street, they're bought by pharma, they're bought by all the, the special interests and the rich, and then they do their bidding. So it appears as if the spectrum is so far to the right because all they're doing is representing the well-to-do in the country.